How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here and in this video I'm showing off a decent sized haul actually. Now this isn't every pop I've actually gotten lately just because a few pops that I've gotten I'm actually showcasing in a different video where I'm going over shipping from certain stores in certain places. So um, certain things I haven't gone over but I've gotten quite a lot of pops in just from a few orders but and I'm still waiting on a few more but yeah I'm excited to show this off but this is probably I think the best haul I've actually had on this channel probably I'm not sure uh, first thing I actually want to start off with is overwatch now I was going to originally put these inside the um video the extra video I was talking about where I was going to go over shipping from each store and then I was going to order like one item from each store and if they offer free shipping if you buy a certain certain amount then I do that and then I have all of them shipped to my house so that way it's not shipped to store and it's done through that so I tried to do it so that way it's done the nicest way possible and try to do it a little bit fairly but uh, I was going to originally put the blizzard store on there just because they have some exclusive pops but um I just want to showcase these and honestly I was a little I was really disappointed with this okay first of all if you can see the corner right there it's all crumpled in uh, there is a smudge right on the box and then the top of here it's actually a little jacked up but I did get the titanium Farah. now I actually have the common one the blue one but I was really disappointed in this box and it really is upsetting because fair is not like a pop you can just find anywhere you actually have to order it online to get it and with a box this jacked up it was really disappointing but I do I did need it in my collection and I am genuinely just happy that I have the pop in general the pop itself looks nice the paint job is on it is actually done phenomenal for the rest of the box itself now the way they shipped it was with these uh, ugly, bad, like hardly even like styrofoam type things, uh, just like this material right here. And then they taped it. Now with the other pop, being that she's a big pop and it's a six inch, it was taped on the back and I was so glad that the tape didn't rip anything off but we have the carbon fiber diva with mecca really happy this one actually looks beautiful and for a six inch pop uh, the box itself isn't too bad uh, there is like a rip up in the top corner which I'm going to try to see if I can get it on camera but don't want to like push it off the screen and then up on the top it's a little it's a little like lumpy I don't think you can see, but yeah, you can probably see that line because I can see it on camera. And then right there is a rip, but other than that, the box is fine. It's beautiful. And I'm so glad I actually have this. This was one that I didn't think I was going to get anytime soon, but uh, once all the money from the Funko shop cleared, I was actually able to purchase this. So I am very happy to have this pop in my collection. Now... For the final one from Overwatch, it's actually, I got lucky and found this in Best Buy today. It's the Unmasked Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Now, this box is also messed up. All these Overwatch boxes are pretty, pretty, pretty messed up. But, um, the side's fine. The top of the box doesn't close. And when the employee opened up the box... They cut a line right through my pop. Now, it's funny because it goes right through the eye that is actually cut. And from certain angles, you can't even tell. But debt straight on, you can tell. And it was a little disappointing, but the pop itself is beautiful. And I'm glad I have it in my collection. Um, glad I have all these in my collection, as is. But yeah, my Overwatch set is actually coming very, very close to being relatively complete. I mean, I'm missing quite a few exclusives still, but I'm, I actually worked out a trade for the Sporty Tracer, so I will be getting Sporty Tracer in soon. 
So be ready for that video because I can't wait. That I have my grail list changes. I have like a whole bunch of grails, but it's more like a want list. But grail list is like pops that are over like fifty dollars, and I would like to have in my collection or love to have in my collection. But yeah, uh, Sporty Tracer is a grail. And speaking about grail, if you stay to the end of this video. I have a technical grail. Um, it wasn't on like my grail list or anything, but I put it on like had a top ten list, and I tried to do tried to do something a little different. But I actually got a grail this week. Um, if you guys saw watch uh, have me on Instagram, you probably know what it is because I already took the picture of it. It was too beautiful. But moving on, I have the final pop for the Wonder Woman set that I didn't have, and that is the. Grayscale or Sepia, I don't know. I think this one's Grayscale. But it's the Grayscale Entertainment Earth Exclusive Wonder Woman. Found this at Go, the um little pop-up store. And I went to one of the malls that was actually a little farther from me. And they actually had her there. And I was so glad because I've been waiting for my FYE to have it. But she hasn't been showing up anywhere. Of course, in the background, you see the unfortunate Legion of Collectors, which is now no longer a thing. But, yes, that is another set I finally have complete. So, now it's the Wonder Woman set, Suicide Squad set, Batman the Animated Series set, um, Hellboy set is complete, the Black Panther set is complete. I'm getting a lot of my sets done. I have, like, one more for the Arkham Knight series, I have a few more for the Arkham City, I have two more from... Dark Knight Returns, I have a few more from the Batman vs. Superman, I have the Complete Justice League set, so things are getting there. A uh, harder one to actually complete is just the Stranger Things one, just because the prices, but I am getting close to having a whole bunch of complete sets. And once I have complete sets, I'm probably gonna just slow down on Funko, which isn't, that a, it isn't a bad thing, just because saving money is perfectly fine in my opinion. But sets I'm looking forward to completing are Stranger Things, Overwatch, Batman vs. Superman. Those sets in particular, I don't have the complete set, so I want them. But moving on, we actually are going to show off three of the four Emerald City Comic Con pops I got in. The first one actually being the Dorb set of Crypto and Ace. I love this set. Um, I remember watching Crypto the Super Dog as a kid and these pops these dwarves look amazing and I actually gotta go pick up the um crypto door the crypto pop when it does come out but there's a few pops that I do need to get from the specialty series because the specialty series there's a few that are actually really good but this right here I know not everyone is a big dwarves fan but I like dwarves personally uh, I have a few I have the complete Stranger Things dwarves set and then I have I'm working on completing the bombshell set. But yeah, that right there is the DC Superheroes Crypto and Ace. And if you guys can see, it is limited to 2,000 pieces, which is which is really cool. Next, I have the 8-Bit Barb. This is one of the other ones I need to complete the Stranger Things 8-Bit set. The only other one I'm missing now is the Demogorgon Chase, which I will eventually find, but... Originally, my pre-order came in with a bad box, and they already sold all the other ones. But um, I went to a different GameStop, and they were able to just trade the one that had a bad, bad box with one of the ones that had a perfect box. So I do have the complete 8-bit set now, except for the Chase Dorbs. I mean, the Chase 8-bit Demogorgon. But I will hunt him down eventually. But very, very cool-looking pop, and I'm glad she's in my set. I have a few more from Emerald City to show off that this is probably going to be the last video that's going to have Emerald City Comic Con in the title just because I have a few more coming in but they're going to be sporadic when they come in. One's going to be part of the video that I'm talking about where with judging the shipping from certain stores. One of them I'm trying to work out a trade or I'm going to probably buy it and then the other one. I'm waiting for Target to restock Beyondu, and I'm actually awake or not at a funeral for that. Now, the third out of the four ones I'm going to show off today. This is Rictus Erectus from the Mad Max Fury Road set, 
working on completing that. Uh, I gotta get it. Gotta get a few more. Not gonna lie, I'm not 100% with that set just yet. Uh, I'm missing Blood Bag. I'm missing the Funko Shop exclusive. Both chases. Common Max. Common Coma Doof. And then uh, Valkyrie and Capable. I'm missing a few, but that's because I've been picking up other pops and I haven't actually seen them in store. But yeah, here we go. Rictus Erectus. Very cool. Uh, number 527 in the set. And he's actually limited to 7,500 pieces. So he was a Funko Shop exclusive. And very happy that he was in stock. Uh, I wanted to get the Ramona and Gideon with the Crypto and um, Rictus. But Funko messed up my shipping, and I wasn't able to pick him up. Um, pick them up, unfortunately. Would have loved to have them in the collection because I like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I don't have any of the other pops, but I thought that one would have been a cool, just like to just to have in general. But it doesn't bother me too badly. It's fine. I'll uh, I'll get them eventually if anything. If I don't get them, it doesn't bother me. Now, I'm not going to show off the last Emerald City Comic Con pop that I got. I'm going to actually save that towards the end. But, well, the last Emerald City Comic Con item. But I did get the Toys R Us group. Now, if you guys don't know, Toys R Us is going out of business, which absolutely sucks. Um, from what I read in the papers, I believe it's 33,000 people potentially losing their job. People in the United Kingdom, people in the United States... I believe Canada is safe, but yeah, it's pretty bad, but I'm going to, once my next paycheck hits, I'm probably going to go to Toys R Us and do probably like one final hunt for them and pick up things like Trigon, uh, Jinx, which I've been holding off on, Terra, who I've been holding off on, uh, Rose Wilson, um, pick up just a few of the Teen Titans ones that I'm missing, but yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but the Groot itself is pretty darn funny. Uh, I believe he's playing a Game Boy, and he doesn't care. It's adolescent Groot. Uh, he's not even a teenager. He's just like, I don't care. Get me off of this thing. But I love this pop, and I'm probably going to have the... I'm probably going to try to get the complete Infinity War set. I got to go get all the commons, which I'm probably going to end up doing, like, a bundle and get, like whole crap load of them all at one shot but I gotta make sure I have the extra cash for that because I can't be spending all that type all that money at one on one go but here we go and have the Hot Topic Vision exclusive pop that it's beautiful this pop actually in person metallic on the um uniform and his eyes and his face and then the um translucent cape it's great and i'm gonna put him off so you can see him sideways but he looks beautiful and if i was an out of box collector i'd be more than happy to rip this box open to get him out but yeah um for the infinity war set so far it's just vision baby uh adolescent group from toys r us and the um black widow are the ones that i have so far i was gonna pick up hulk hulk buster today but the boxes were cut and you know i bought the reinhardt today except the thing is i can find that hulkbuster anywhere reinhardt i'm not going to find again so i was happy with that now the next ones i'm going to go over are the saga pops that i was able to pick up now i'm missing a few from i'm still missing a few from the set but i'm trying to complete the entire comic set i did start to read a little bit into it just because I didn't want to go, I didn't want to not know all the characters, just pick them up just because they're comics, but um, a big reason actually as to why I picked up these pops was because of the artist video that they did, and I wish they did more of it because the people who actually designed these pops were so excited to show them off. It was a much better done video, uh, more excitement than the, um, personally, the showcasing from normal the um normal cast and crew from the original Funko but doing the artist one I could see how happy they were and I actually wanted to support that and plus since it's Saga and it's from a comic set I love comics if you couldn't tell 
So I wanted to pick this up. So I actually did start reading it just so that way I wouldn't feel like I'm wasting my money and time on pops that I don't even know anything about. So I do know a little bit about them, but here's Marco. Um, here you can see the sides. Now there are six in this set, but there's a lot of exclusives. Um, you got a specialty series, Alana. You have a Emerald City Comic Con, Prince Robot, which I'm trying to work out a trade for. You got a chase version of The Will. You have four different lion cats. And then Isabel is a Hot Topic exclusive. So uh, this set is really, really big, surprisingly, for six pops. But uh, I'm very happy to actually have this one in my set. Now, I did not pick up Alana. And I didn't pick up The Will, even though they were both in store. Just because I am... Didn't have all the money to buy it, but the Lana box was just was bad. And spoiler alert: one of the items that I got was actually from Hot Topic, which was the um the will. And of course, there's a chance at a chase, so that's for the uh, shipping video that I'm working on. And uh, that video should be coming out pretty soon. I might do two parts just because I'm not going to be able to get all stores. But I think right now it has Fye included, Best Buy included. Hot Topic, GameStop, and the Funko Shop. So I believe there's five. There might be more, but I know next time I'm going to be doing Target, Toys R Us, Walmart, Box Lunch, and then maybe Books a Million. I, I got to work things out. So maybe actually even Walgreens. But I want to try to get at least one done from each, from each place and show you guys how they ship it. But yeah, um, so be expecting that video in the future. I'm probably going to, as soon as my two packages come from GameStop and then from Hot Topic, I'm going to go edit that video and get that up for you guys. And that will be the part one. But next is actually Isabel from Saga. She's number 12. She's the Hot Topic exclusive. And it's super cool. Um, Those are her guts hanging out. She's a ghost. And she's doing air quotes right now, and she's a little sassy, but very, very beautiful pop. And I'm glad she's in my collection. Box was great. Everything's cool about this pop. Now, the last two from Saga, before we get into the um, last section of this video, which actually includes the Grail, we have the Lion Cat. Now, the first one is actually the Barnes & Noble exclusive, the pink one. Now, um, a local hunter actually pre-ordered two of them, and he ended up just, there was none inside the store, so he ended up just selling me the one for $10, which I'm cool with. Um, definitely helps out he can go and buy another pop that he needs. But yeah, that is the Lion Cat Pink, and it looks beautiful. It's vibrant, and it's kind of, I think, like the same pink as the Isabel, but... It's very beautiful. The other one that I was actually able to get is the Lion Cat Books of Million exclusive, which is gold. Now, I have both of them. Both of these. So there are two more, three more that I'm actually missing. I'm missing the Skybound one, which I might be working out a trade for. And then the, um, the, uh, PX Previews one, which isn't out just yet. But when that comes out, I'm going to pick that up. And the which one called? the common version, which I actually haven't seen in person, which is funny. I saw both of these exclusives, but the golden one looks great. Like, just look at it. So majestic, these pops. But yeah, very, very cool. So that's it for the Saga line. Now, the last set I'm going to go through is actually horror-themed. And the first one I want to actually show off is a Dorbs, which is the Alien Dorbs. I picked this up just because I could have picked up a Bombshell Dorbs, but I picked this up because I want to go get all the Bombshell Dorbs that the rest that I'm missing all in one go, except for the Chase Wonder Woman, which I'm missing, but I'll get her eventually. She, she'll show up, but yeah, I got the Alien one. It isn't the best looking one, to be honest with you. It looks a little silly. Uh, this... Glam actually looks better than the actual pop, the actual dwarves, and the round of the head, roundness of the head kind of throws it off because it doesn't look exactly like the character, but 
nonetheless, I wanted it in my collection anyway, and I actually got to go pick up the face hugger one, and then I think there's a chase version, if I'm not wrong, the bloody one, but that's something I can wait a little bit for, but yeah, I got this, and I'm really cool, I'm really cool with that, I actually want to go get the, I actually want to go get the common one, and the, um, Ellen Ripley. Now, the Emerald City Comic Con dwarves I got was the Blood Splatter Jason. It looks so cool. Now, here you can actually see it's on his jacket, it's on his hockey mask. It's so cool. I believe this was like limited to like a thousand plus, I think it was like a thousand eight hundred if I'm not mistaken. But it was a pretty limited pop, uh, pretty limited dwarves, and a lot of people wanted it. And surprisingly, Wildcard Toys, uh, the first time that it went live, uh, it was a wreck. Not gonna lie, but they're a smaller company. This is the very first exclusive, and for a Comic Con too, it's gonna get a lot of traffic. So the website was miserable for the first time that it went oh, first time around. But second time around, I got it pretty easily. Um, because I wasn't waiting around for Yandu anymore. I was exhausted at that point just because I missed it. At, I think I missed it once at that point. And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just get this Jason Voorhees, door, Voorhees Dwarves. And there's going to be a lot of the Yandus on eBay. So the prices might not be too high. Probably a little, a little more than I'd want to pay. But I do have to get the Yandu, which is one that I really wanted from Emerald City. But I did miss out. The next one that I want to show off is the 8-Bit Jason Voorhees, which Friday the 13th was a, it's a classic with, it's a classic horror movie. You can't, there's nothing like I can say about this movie. It's pretty cheesy, the very first one, but the Jason Voorhees 8-Bit looks pretty cool. I still don't have the NES Colors one, but I'll get that one eventually. It's pretty cool. I can I can hold off just a little bit. I can pick that up online, I believe, if, if anything. But I do have the NES version of the Freddy Krueger. But yeah, we have the 8-bit Jason and the Dorbs, which I'm probably going to put like right there. Next, I'm going to show off the common Jason Voorhees. Um, yeah, I actually didn't have this in my set, and it's number one from the Pop Movies line. So this is a really old Funko Pop, if you can't tell. But that's what the older box looks like. Uh, it's a little bit of warping, but it's perfectly fine. Picked this up at my local FYE. I actually picked up both this Jason and the 8-bit um, Jason at the same time with a pop protector. So that way I could um, just protect one of my good pops. But yeah, this right here is a little weird. I don't know how I feel about the eye being halfway closed. But, and then the the mask is a bit yellow, so it's a bit different from how the actual design is. Which is a bit strange, but it's not the first time something like that has happened. For example, I think with older pops specifically, it happens a lot more often where the glam doesn't match. For example, with the glow-in-the-dark Beetlejuice, where um, the common one doesn't match the box art. And both of them have like the green growing on his face, but the glam doesn't. So, it's a bit strange for some of the older pops. But yeah, the um, number one, Jason Voorhees, very cool. Now, the last pop, if you couldn't tell from the, um, from the last three that we did, the final pop is a Grail Jason Voorhees Chase. And this is the one I actually bought the pop protector for. I found, I went to FYE to go pick up my, well, to go... Check on my pre-order for Justice League to see how much I needed to pay on it because I've been getting the t-shirts and I've been putting five down sporadically. And then they were like, okay, give me one moment. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just look at the pop wall. And then I'm like, oh, they got some Jason then. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen him since Halloween. And I said, well, might as well just check anyway. So I moved one to the side. No chase. Moved another one to the side. Boom, chase behind that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Let me go and grab that instead of worrying about paying for that movie right away. But yes, I got the glow-in-the-dark Jason. And 
You can tell the mask looks different, of course, because the glow, there's a glow effect on that one, on the mask. But yes, this is so cool. Now, I miss, now I actually want to go and complete the rest of the horror line. The, I'm missing Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, and Leatherface. So I have to pick those up, potentially Gremlins, but I will find those when they come out. I'm not going to spend extra on it and that's why I consider this a grail because this would be something that is phenomenal to have in your collection but you don't necessarily need it in your collection to you don't necessarily want to spend ninety dollars to get this pop all the time but yeah I'm actually gonna see will it glow for you guys on camera I'm gonna turn off one of the lights and then see if it actually glows uh, I don't think it glows on camera, which is unfortunate, but, you know, cameras don't even capture, capture the glow very well unless you do it under black light. But yes, this pop is phenomenal, and I'm so glad I have the Jasons that I do. So now I actually got to go get the NES one, and I got to go find that Hot Topic exclusive one, and then potentially track down the, um, the unmasked one, but... I'm not worried about that one whatsoever if I don't get it. I'm just glad I have the chase. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And I will see you guys next time with more Funko content. So until then, YouTube, goodbye.